Hey everybody, happy Thursday. Um, I got a new hot end in the mail for the uh, Anycubic Cobra 2 Max. The original hot end I had was perfectly fine. Um, the What I did is I ordered two different um, bimetal, one was a bimetal and one was a um, like a copper with ceramic, uh, well, actually I can show you. So this was, this is what's left of it. This was a copper with ceramic, um, you kind of see it. The white piece is a ceramic. Um, it, uh, it broke off when I was installing it. So I got the, everything installed and then that tip proportion broke off. So, um, and I, I can't get it out. I mean, I'm gonna, I might still try, but these are fairly cheap. I mean, I think I've paid 20 bucks for a new one. Um, got it in the mail and um, got it installed today. So, I mean, it was fairly cheap. I ordered it off Amazon. Um, I had been talking with Anycubic customer service and just kind of going back and forth and they were willing to send me stuff, but um, I, I had a bunch of hoops to jump through and I just got tired of it. So I just ordered one. Uh, it was much easier and I got it the next day. So I didn't have to wait, you know, four or five days or whatever they were gonna take. Um, so uh, anyway, I've got uh, the bimetal in the new hot end assembly now. Um, I, it, it installed much easier, it wasn't ceramic and it didn't come apart like the other one. So um, that got a bad review on Amazon. But the bimetal one's in there and it seems to be printing okay. I'm doing a um, leveling now to make sure everything's been leveled properly. Uh, I gotta do that once you install a new tip or new um, hot end assembly on these things, no matter which printer it is. Um, both Elegoos are working really well. I did do, I'm doing a couple of test prints right now to see if I can maybe fine tune my um, input shaper the to kind of get rid of any of the ghosting, that sort of thing that might happen. So I'm kind of trying to fine tune it right now, but I do have some orders I need to get done. So um, I'm not gonna focus too much on it because it is pretty well dialed in it's at the moment. The, um, the other update, other news I have for you is my third uh, Chitty X Max 3 came in the mail today. Um, it's a little interesting because I might have, maybe I pissed somebody off over there. I don't know, but um, it was a little interesting because the one that came in the mail, I'm pretty sure, is the old version, and the first two I received in the mail a little like a month ago uh, was the new version. And the reason why I say that is because the new version, if I remember correctly, the new version has um, self tensioners for the belts. Um, they're like an auto tensioner. It's like a spring loaded tensioner for the belt system, and they're working great. And the new one that I just received today has the old uh, manual belt tensioners. So I have a feeling it was in a, it was actually in a different box setup too. So I was like, yeah, okay. As, as soon as I opened it up, I knew it wasn't the same one. Um, they look identical. The, the mat that comes on it is a little different. The older one that I just received, the new, <laughs> the new old model that I received has a different uh, uh, flex plate on it, which is really interesting. Um, I'm not, uh, I think it's the same sort of flex plate. It's just black where the other two were like a bronzy color. I don't know. Um, but I'm pretty sure I just received the old version. So maybe I pissed somebody off. Um, but I, I am still waiting on two of the, uh, Chitty Q1 Pros. Um, those haven't shipped yet. So hopefully those will come in. Um, they did receive my, um, X plus three that I returned. Um, they received that sometime this week, so I'm going to see if maybe they'll um, put the credit that I'm going to get back toward another X Max 3, um, just because I really, I you know, don't really have the room for it, but I need to find, I just need more more printers so I can get more orders filled faster, so um, that's kind of how things are going for me, and then once I get these guys all working good, um, I am still waiting on parts from Elegoo for the um, the Neptune 4 Plus that I have in the house in pieces. Uh, I had the tracking number they sent me has never been updated. So it's been, it's been a couple weeks now. So I, um, I followed up with them to see if there's maybe an updated tracking number for that. But, um, I mean, otherwise it's, it seems to be going good. It's leveling right now. I really hope this fixes my issues with the Anycubic. Um, if it doesn't, I might just get rid of this thing and, and buy another Elegoo. Um, cause I don't know, I'm getting kind of tired of fussing with it, but I'm really hoping this is it. The when I took apart the hot end assembly to put the the bimetal piece in the original hot end assembly that was in there, um, when I took it out, and I actually have a video. Maybe I'll tie it into this. Actually, I'll just yeah, I'll just tie it into this. 
Um, when I took that hot end assembly apart, I could see some of the filament oozing out. And that was after I had already tried to clean it out and fix it. So this is probably the fourth time in the last week I've already I've taken that hot end assembly apart. Um, but this one is a brand new hot end assembly. And um, I keep calling it a neck, but that, that bimetal piece is uh, called the throat. So if you're looking for one, actually, you know what, I'll, I'll tag it on this uh, video so that you can see it. Uh, if you, have, if you wanna if you want to buy one off Amazon, you can see which one I bought. Um, and maybe I'll wait to post the video until I have some tests, you know, to make sure this is actually a good option. But um, it looks the same size, it looks like it'll fit. So, so we'll see, um, and then I'll do a review on it. And um, yeah, I mean, everything else is going pretty good. The um, X Maxes, the older ones are, even though they're a month old, the older ones are actually printing really nice. Um, one's printing fantastic. One's not bad. That's good still. It's really good. Uh, it's just not fantastic like the other one. I'm just, you know, me, I'm trying to be picky and, you know, be um, chase perfection. So, um, but that, that is, it is what it is. That's what I do. So anyway, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I'm probably going to order some more filaments <laughs> as I look at my five boxes over here. Um, just so I don't run out with this many printers it's going to probably run out quicker than i'd like so um but anyway i hope you guys all had a good week so far and uh, there's your weekly update for what's going on <laughs> thanks for watching everybody